Welcome back, Dragon Lords, to another episode of Tropico 5, the Maltese Toucan Campaign. So first things first, I forgot to do an audio check last time. So there were some issues, as you may have noticed. I have hopefully fixed them, so it shouldn't sound like I'm shouting in your ear through a potato with a microwave in the background this time. Ah, we may not have the Maltese Toucan. But we have our freedom from the crown for the very first time. Well, first in this space-time continuum, anyway. Somehow the Grey Powers seem certain that we have the bird. And worst of all, they want it for themselves. The this time, <laughs> instead of tackling the problem head-on, you don't get both to talk. The really. Axis and the Allies seem to favor a more discreet approach. I prefer a more meetings, continuous approach myself. Umbrella guns, teapot cameras, a knockout lipstick, what fun! Let the spa games begin! Do you prefer a nice game of chess? I don't really like spy games. So, I think, um, actually I chose this at the end of the last episode, I'm not sure why it's asking me again, but I am going to go with conscription temporarily. Because I don't think that I have enough Even high school people to, to work a textile mill and all of my military buildings. Both the Axis and the Allies are fast. I wonder if it's going to turn out that we actually do have the toucan. We just don't know it somehow. So first things first, I need to make money because if you don't make money, you can't do anything in this game. So textile mill is how I'm going to make it at first, and I have the cotton plantation, which I think I'm going to mechanize for mostly the effectiveness, although the reduction in workers is nice too. And I already have two llama ranches, so that should produce the wool necessary to keep the other supply cycle running. Um, I can research rather slowly until I get an observatory, but slow is better than never, so I'll take it. And so this is the highest priority right now, so I'm not even going to build anything until this is finished. Although I will get reforestation because I'm running a bit low on trees. I think I had like 54,000, so I've used up about two-thirds of them. And how many people do I have who are high school? Okay, so I have plenty of people who are either high school or college, because college people can also work in a textile mill. Um, but yeah, I did not have enough to work the palace and both military force and both guard today. towers. You know what that, that would means, not lady. have worked. Come to the Jelly Roger quickly and get your front row seats to watch men in uniforms fight El Presidente's invisible enemies while you enjoy a refreshing mojito. And don't forget your binoculars. Presidente, even though we want to do that. Um, oh, I did make a mistake. Oh, no. Um, I do like to leave room for roads which fortunately are only one tile wide. I thought that I didn't leave room here, which would have been annoying because then there would have been a lot of space back here where I would have had to make an inconvenient road, but I can just make a road right across here. And since this is roughly the middle of my island, I think I'm going to put my police station there because then it'll cover the most ground possible. Presidente, I have just learned that the Allies- Spy have... Academy. Well, after the textile mill, I'll work on that. And I get I 10 educated citizens. That's pretty important. But I think I'm going to do it after the police station. Because I need... Well, I suppose I can just do them both at the same time. There we go. Textile mill, and don't need to worry about that anymore. So how much does it cost to get a spy academy? Ooh, quite a bit. I think I want a police station. In fact, I knew that I wanted. Because... Actually, I don't have very bad crime safety. That's not really the most efficient way to raise happiness. It does discover people, which is nice, but I don't really need that yet. And I think I'm actually not going to really use my Spy Academy, because as far as I understand it, if you have loyal spies at home, then they will protect against enemy spy actions, and if you have them out, like, doing one of these three actions, 
on someone else, then they won't protect, they'll only be giving you that benefit, whatever it is. So if I just keep all of my spies at home, then I should be able to defend better against the spy incursions, which on this mission there are a lot of. I played like halfway through this mission before. And how many people do I have? Not as many as I would like. Um, well, definitely get a union leader. And then overemployed. Ooh, I have a lot of open jobs. I did not realize that. Wow, three high school people died in the past, like, year. That's not very good. Creamery, I guess, also does require high school people. That's too bad. Guard Tower, however, does not. Not yet, anyways. Neither does the dock. Guillermo Torres, I think I encounter you a lot. That name sounds very familiar. Good day. Marla, you are next on the chopping block. And that's it. Uh, I think that's enough. Yeah, I only need two more people anyways. Wow, actually, I guess Textile Mill has a pretty low job quality. Same as Plantations. That's pretty bad. I thought that because it used high school workers it would automatically have a higher job quality, but I guess that doesn't- that makes sense that it doesn't really, because, I mean, a uh, factory isn't Old really chap, that much better than a plantation. Your island is crawling with spies. According to the ancient diplomatic law of do unto others as they have done unto you, we can use our own spies. Actually, I prefer we the law of do unto others before they can do unto you. I find it works quite well. Once I start exporting my cloth, I should have more money than I know what to do with for the first three months, and then it'll all be gone, and I'll be poor for the rest of the campaign. Because that's how it usually tends to work, it seems like. But at least for a while after I start exporting, which looks like I will, yep, lots of cloth here, and can I export it at a higher profit? Nope, too bad. Um, if I can get a steel mill, which the nice thing is that a steel mill doesn't even take electricity, so I might even want that before I get table manners. I don't know. Maybe not. This is already $10,000. I can use that to build a police station. Or actually, I do need another industry building, or at least I will at some point. So, what will that be? And eh, maybe I should just go for a steel mill. Because, do I have iron and coal? I think I do. Somewhere. Yes. Presidente, maybe the rumors that the Tucan is in trouble. Nice. Generals. And when you get this mission, you get a lot of agents, so that's quite convenient. Although, hiring someone as a manager does take them away from their normal jobs. So I'm probably going to fire at least a couple a couple of these people afterwards. Because I don't really need to find out all these people's jobs or roles. I already know most of the relevant ones. I think that was five agents. Um, just do one more to be sure. And yep, six agents. There we go, Spy Academy. Ooh, and lots of money. So I can build a... Well, I suppose I still don't really need a police a cat police academy? No. Uh police department, police station, whatever it's called. So I will just go with a grocery, because I think I still have no grocery anywhere, right? Yes. And I can also replace these Catholic missions with a single church. It doesn't use any fewer workers and I think it costs about the same, it might cost slightly more, but it provides significantly higher service quality. So I'm going to do that, because I have the money. And Farmer's Fair is almost always worthwhile. We found it, nice. Presidente. Not the toucan, of course, but... Map with an X on it. There's only one thing that could possibly mean a toucan. Can't fit it in the same spot, I don't think, no. Um, should I put it in here? I think it fits nicely, so that would probably be a better idea. Um, because it's always hard to find things that fit 
usually, so if you can find a nice fit like that, it's generally a good idea to take it. And the wards, I think I already have... Oh no, I got some more people, so I can build wards. One there, and one over here, or... Um, over here would be even better, but it's unexplored territory. So, I guess if I just put one, like, here, that might be able to reach both this and this deposit. So I think this is probably the best place. No positive. I don't know what the range on a fishing, uh, on a wharf is. And I can get a, whoops, double fish deposit wharf over here. So that gives it bonus effectiveness. Significant amount of bonus effectiveness, in fact. We've found it, but... And I could quick build the wharves. I'm not sure I need to. I think I'll quick build the far one, because it takes a long time for my construction workers to get over there. Because I don't think we've invented cars. Oh, no, we have. I haven't discovered oil, though. They just run on magic at this point. And the first of many sabotage attempts. Well, sabotage success, in fact. Presidente. I hear about more constitution options. Um, police state, because I can't really s survive a democracy right now. And I don't want a totalitarian state, because that gives more rebels. So, police state is a happy medium for now. I always like this one because it gives more happiness, and not having enough workers is generally only a problem in the short term. So, like, this... Like, you can just fix this by not building for a short time, and then you just end up with more money. And right now, I need more educated immigrants, not just more immigrants, because I need people for the... Const uh, the professional army constitutional modifier and also I'll probably be building more textile mills or other industry buildings at some point I can also build an embassy oh no I can't not yet not for quite a while in fact but I can speed that up by building an observatory and I already have high ground how convenient how convenient. You just happen to have high ground. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to have this be a tourist area. Well, so much for that idea. It's fine. I can just do it, like, over here or something. It's always more territory, right? It's not like you can ever run out of places to explore. Just like I will never run out of oil or resources. Hurry up. I don't think this actually does anything when it's the only building on the island. But maybe it does. I'd like to think it does. And so this is now service quality of 60 instead of 40, and it can serve almost everybody on the island. So that should bring us up to like 50 religion happiness instead of 18. That's enough to win an election. If we have one. Primary is being slow. Presidente. There is snow Ooh. to camp below the X on the map. We found a stash of rum instead. Sadly, it is now gone. Interesting. Well, I guess that would make it worthwhile to I build you. a... I hate you all! Do you know how many years it takes to build a stash? The delicate, caring sensation, the smell of aged bottles? But no! You just have to dig there! You just have to drink it all! Now, I will have to replace everything and build a bigger stash. This time, I'm stationing a crocodile to guard it. I have never heard that before. I guess because it's specific to this mission. I've never even had that happen before. That is really funny. <laughs> Apparently, why exactly did she make a map with an X on it that led to her stash if she didn't want anyone coming there? Well, I guess it is Lulu. never have enough people. I 
guess it's because I think you need... Well, normally you need at least half of your workers to not have the no workers sign show up. Uh, I think. Or is it two-thirds? Yeah, you just need to have more than half of your workers. Or half or more of your total workers to not have the no workers sign. So, I don't know why it shows up the no workers sign when there are only three people out of five. Seems like that should be okay. Man! Well, I have two agents now. Better than nothing. Um, and also there's a way... Oh no, these only increase offensive uh, abilities. Radar? Oh, is unlocked in Cold War. But when it does finish, it will give... Or when I do unlock it, that Resident helps you protect. I now know the location of the Allies against enemy spy actions. Okay, once I have a lot of, a lot more, um, agents, I'll do that. Do I have the observatory? Nope, still no. That's a relatively high priority. I need a lot more people. Come on in! Sure, why not? 58%, that seems like a pretty comfortable margin. Two entertainment things. Um, ooh, two barracks. That's always uh, one of the last mission, one of those missions that I just accept and then hang on to like forever, because it costs sixteen thousand dollars, no twenty thousand dollars to build a barracks, and I only get four, five thousand. Yay! Killed one agent, so it's not generally worth it. Although it does make new quests that are worth it available. Specifically, this is the quest chain that eventually leads you into the Cold War era. Entertainment buildings, what can I do for now? Ooh, I can already build a cabaret. Um, restaurant is decent, although restaurant does employ a lot of people for the num- it only employs- because it employs six people and it only serves 60, so that's one out of ten people. If I were to service my whole island like that, I would need four restaurants and a quarter, a tenth of my island, just for that one type of happiness. It's not even that good. Opera House, I think, has 40 or 60 visitors? I don't remember how many. I guess entertainment is always just one of the hardest types of, um, one of the hardest types to, of happiness to actually get up. Also, do I have enough rich people to raise the budget here? Still no. Because I guess I don't really get into the rich things until I get luxury goods. I think usually produce or give rich wealth. I'm not sure about that. I really wish I had a lot more visitors or visitors, um, immigrants because. I could really use a rum department thing. What's it called? Rum distillery. Because I have the 25% um, increase, but I do not have enough people to work it right now. Although it's getting there. Another month of, or another year of immigrants should be enough. We're really not reforesting very quickly. Still going down. Can people eat coffee? <laughs> that would be kind of interesting. No, they can't, because there's no local consumption. A new yeah, another intelligence service awarded. And great, this usually gives a good reward. Um, yeah, so getting these agents has really paid off quite a bit. I've already I've been able to thwart two of their operations. 53%, that's getting a little worrying. Um, I think I'm going to just temporarily turn up the budget on all of my happiness buildings, because that increases the service quality, and so that'll make people happier, and then I can just turn that down after the election. Do I have? I have one entertainment building, which I can get the Three Penny Opera, because I think there are a lot of poor people on my island. 
Um, yeah. A reasonable number. Almost everybody is poor or well off, so except for the eight broke people, everyone can visit the opera. And this gives 60 visitors, so this is the same as a restaurant right now, except higher service quality and fewer workers. I guess it also does take technically high school workers, or oh, college workers, rather than uneducated workers, but I think that's worth it, because I have a pretty, I have a pretty well-educated population. But what else was I going to check? Happiness, right. Oh, I never actually built a newspaper. Well, I could survive without it. I hope. <laughs> yeah, I guess the only other thing that I could increase would be uh, a housing, which I've already turned up. Oh, I didn't turn up the county, country houses. Well, I guess I can turn them up all the way because I have plenty of well-off Uh-oh. We well, good thing I have a large army, so this will not be like that uh, extra hard, very hard mission that I tried. Sandbox. Why did- why were they just standing there? Okay, they're waiting to meet up with someone. Oh man, I forgot to praise the allies, or invite the allies. In my- because I think I have my embassy already built. I didn't use it. Nice election finished, and too bad pay cuts for everyone. Too bad, so sad. Yep, I could have invited the allies. Allies like me more, so I'll invite them. Allies also give you more money. I'm not really sure why that is, because, like, I don't know of any reason that you would prefer the access to the allies. Because... The allies just give you more money, and I don't think there's any other difference. I think the Axis might be slightly easier to please. Oh, I have tons and tons of money. Um, and 17 citizens, that is enough for me to... Not plantation, uh, or not ranch, plantation. To start up a rum distillery and sugar plantation, which I can't actually put anywhere. Uh, this, I guess, is pretty good. And I can add in more sugar plantations eventually. Well, guess I'm not gonna in institute prohibition. Nice, put in another operation. Um, why do I only have four agents? I had I completed the quest that needed five agents. How is that possible that I lost them? Oh, agents are actual people, strangely enough. Um, so, like, they're special people, like rebels or managers, so I think they can die over time. Unless they're away on a mission. So he probably just died of old, old age, or maybe healthcare, or something like that. Ooh, a canoe. Modern art, as far as I know, just triggers an earthquake, so I'm not going to go with it this time. It might be random, maybe I've just gotten really unlucky, but... Trade routes, I hope they're export trade routes. And I really hope that one of them is for cloth. Nope. No such luck. Okay, I got no useful trade routes out of that. Got an import meat, which I don't want. And I don't even know what else. Um, I could import wool. I mean, it's not that bad of an idea because I do have a textile mill, but I produce all the wool I need. What I need is cotton, not wool. If anything. Also, I think I only have one construction uh, construction agency. Yeah, so I'm going to want to get another. Might as well be somewhere up here, because they can't easily get to areas like this, where my cotton plantation is. So that'll help that problem. Um, wow, really? I got really lucky. Oh, well, not that lucky. But um, usually your plantations actually go dry, and you have to irrigate them during a drought, but none of my plantations went dry this time. Let's watch the fire truck. Whee! And watch the other trucks driving through the fire truck. I didn't realize that was how it worked. Wow, this is a really flamey um, 
drought. Though apparently fire trucks can just drive through everyone, and everyone can drive through fire trucks. I suppose that's one way to do it. Oh, and I even have a dungeon, so I can actually get rid of rebels without increasing the unrest as much. Though I don't know of any rebels. Um, I can start bribing spies. It does cost $10,000, because normally bribes cost an amount of money based on the wealth. So broke people cost $500 to bribe, uh, filthy rich people cost $10,000 to bribe. Spies, foreign spies, automatically cost 10000 because... Now this is just an educated guess, but I'm guessing that when you bribe them, it changes them to a loyal spy instead of a foreign spy. So let's test that. Yep. Oh, I guess he doesn't become a loyal spy, but he uh, stops being a foreign spy and gives you... Um, like, stops a operation. Oh, and I also need a new entertainment building on top of my opera house, which is quite good. 70 service quality, 60 visitors, and only poor wealth required. Um, might as well- I have the money, I might as well bribe another foreign spy. Good evening. Because I need to bribe 20 of them, which means $200,000. Holy cow! This is going to take a lot of money. Maybe I should take out a small loan of a million dollars. Wow, three hundred dollars for a thousand cheese and a thousand fish? That seems really cheap. Maybe it already exported part of those, so it was like only counting the fish or something? How much does fish work? I don't know. Rum distillery is almost up. That actually employs a lot of people. So, dock is on fire. In the rain. That's how hot it is. Our research team developing new materials. Okay, that'll be World useful is a later. War, my Ooh, good chap, nice. and that war encompasses. Um, but I don't have the workers for it right now. Rydock actually is probably the most useful thing I can do. And I I never find that any of these are useful. Jewelry factory is marginally useful, but only if you have gold and a power plant, which is quite rare for me. And the other two are just I never build them. I hardly even know what they do. The great communist revolution started um, in Russia. I'll take it and I'll pay for it some other day. Oh, lots of immigrants just came in a while ago, filled up a bunch of jobs. Taking all our jobs! Wow, that just got really political. <laughs> so, I need three... I need to steal three technologies and expose secrets for the allies. So, I'm going to start on that now. There's something to increase the chances. Yeah, there we go. So, I don't even know how to do sabotage, because it's not here. Is there some other tab? Do I have to, like, click on a spy, maybe? No? Maybe it just automatically happens when you bribe foreign spies, which, but mm -hmm. speaking of... Because, I mean, that does say it's sabotage, but is that the only way to do it? I don't know. And then I can add a bunch of spies to exposing secrets. 70% chance that's pretty good. And I sabotaged a bunch of operations, so hopefully I don't need to worry about not having any f defensive spies. Oh, hey. That, I think, was automatic. A spy has become a double agent. I don't think I had to bribe that guy. I think that was just, like... I don't know. Because. So maybe that's what it means. It improves the chance of that happening. Fifteen people. Not that many, really. In the grand scheme of things. 
Now, as long as this succeeds, it actually doesn't lower allies' relations. Oh, I should have praised a long time ago. In fact, I can do a delegation. Um, that's fine by me, because my other logging camp is kind of running dry. Though, is there a good place to put one? Eh, this is pretty good. It's a little bit far away, but my Teamster's office should be able to handle that pretty, pretty fine. Pretty fine? Pretty well. And I still need a new entertainment building. So what am I going to do? Ancient ruins? Do I have any ancient ruins nearby? Doesn't look like it. Ten thousand more dollars. Two citizens. That's not as many as I need. I need more like 20. Oh, I can bribe another spy. Hola. But maybe I should be I love um, spending more on improving my uh, quality of life, my happiness, and also my uh, money production. Because I have pretty low happiness, actually. Though my factions are quite happy right now. That's rather unusual. I wonder what new building they dis the communists dislike. The, the rum distillery? Doesn't really seem like it. I don't know why communists wouldn't like rum. Maybe just they don't like industry buildings because they, like, exploit the workers or something like that? I don't know. A trap on the streets. Oh, I do need a high school at some point. So, what can I... What quest can I finish? Hmm. Ah, why not? Another opera house. Can't hurt. I have very high military loyalty. Which is surprising because I have fairly low overall happiness.